how you move on once the narcissist destroys you, we've talked about quite a bit. And the very first thing that I would say and advise is after you educate yourself on the topic, that's very important, it's vital you get back to yourself and whatever that entails. I am going to cut this here, like I said on the bass video, because I can't even see you guys. And whatever that entails. Now, that means, okay, are you a person that works out? Are you a person that knits? Are you a person that fishes? Are you a person that cooks? Are you a person that likes to be with family? I, I bought shears, you guys. These are those shears I told you I bought. I took advice from the people. This is nice. They do cut well. All I know is right now I can't see you guys. But if you get back to all of the things that you love, of course, now there's hair on me, then you will feel empowered automatically to be able to deal with what they're putting you through. Maybe it's not the best idea to put, to do that with tacky lip gloss on. We're going to make the video with the hair right on us. I want to make sure that you know you could throw yourself, again, work, friends, hobbies, Get your proper sleep and nourishment. That sounds like it's not important, but let me tell you something. The mental exercise that these people put us through, yep, piece of hair, is so intense that the, the best thing you can do for yourself after education, after getting back to yourself, is nourish your body, get your proper sleep, because you have to be strong to deal with this mentally. Well, if you're not at, I, I made sure that I was at my top, seriously, that wasn't a good idea, of my game physically. Now, I'm not saying I became a workout person. That's not what I mean. But I made sure I slept. I made sure I ate well. I made sure, right? I got sunshine, whether I just sat out there or went for a walk. I'm not saying, again, you might not be an exercise person. So when I say exercise, I might just mean go for a walk, take in the vitamin D from the sun. Go sit on your porch, get fresh air. Being at your best rested self physically will add to the strength you will need to recover. I mean, it's tough. I won't lie. It is tough. I made a video once and somebody in the comments said, I don't want to hear about having to eat right. I want to get over this now. How do I get? And I, oh, I felt their pain. You want to get over it right now. No, no, Renee, tell me how. Well, the biggest thing that helped me turn a corner was learning all about everything that I could. And once I took myself out of, this is what happened. So you're in a relationship with a narcissist, toxic person, whichever role they're playing in your life, right? Business partner, family, friend, romantic. And you look at the, the unit of the relationship. So there's two people. Once I realized in whatever form the person had in my life, I started to realize, oh, Oh, they're dysfunctional. Oh, they're dysfunctional. Oh, there's nothing I could do. Oh my God, why didn't you tell me that 30 years ago? Why didn't you tell me that 20 years ago? Why didn't you tell me that six months ago? Whatever your time frame is with the person that you have in mind right now. And it became so clear that I have often said like a pogo stick, I bounced away from these toxic people because I spent so much time trying and begging and screaming and talking and explaining and trying to reach them, thinking I did reach them, only to have something else come along that destroys you again. These people destroy. It had nothing to do with what I was doing to them. I didn't deserve to get destroyed at all. They chose. So once I realized that, it became very easy for me to move away from the from, 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 uh, from them. It did, it became very, very easy. And I don't mean easy, it's a tough road because you're heartbroken. But I mean, once you wipe your face and you sit up straight and you get a good meal and you have a good rest and you look at it and you learn and you listen and you realize, oh, there's nothing I could have done. No! All the talks I had, all the times I tried to make, make nice, all the olive branches, all the eating crow I did it was to no avail. And it was never, ever, ever going to be successful. 
because they're broken. They're disordered. I'm not going to fix someone who's disordered in this way. Generally, they never change at all. And they're not going to see your point, even if they fake it and tell you that they do. They're not going to see your point. Mm -mm. I've had people look right. Oh, I understand. This is what I would get from one person that's in my mind right now. They'd go like this. "Uh Uh-huh. Yup. I'd go, look at me. Do you hear what I'm saying? This is a terrible thing. Yup. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, all right. Sorry. And I would take that as me having gotten through to them only to turn around and have them destroy me again. When you get to the point that you realize, oh, that's what they do, you become liberated and it becomes easier to move on from them destroying you. Don't let them have that lasting effect that they destroyed you. I was never so motivated to get right back up and live a happy, quiet, simple, little, fabulous life. Which bothers them, by the way. That's the biggest thing you can do. Not that I'm trying to talk about how to bother them, but that's the biggest thing you can do. That was the biggest thing I could have done. And the best thing I could have done for myself is pick myself up, clean house of any toxic people, and then continue on my path of recovery, my path of getting myself back, getting back to things I liked to do, Spe- to do, spending my time with the people that don't mistreat me. There's no room, and there shouldn't be in your life either. Your tolerance level should go to where you won't tolerate certain behavior. Your boundaries should be set for yourself and don't budge on them ever again. You should have parameters in place that protect you going forward that you don't have another one enter your life. Like I will never again put up with, uh, um, except love bombing. You might say, well, it's so nice. How can you say, no, I'd recognize it a mile away. You want to marry me by the salad? No, no, no. So all of these things and more that we've discussed many times can lead you to move on and recover once the narcissist tries their best to destroy you. No one destroyed me. Now, I'm pretty sure that the toxic people I've removed from my life are pretty miserable in theirs still because that's them. has nothing to do with me. It's been years. Nothing to do with me. See what I mean?